Hi, I'm Nick Benadell. I'm the Dean of the Gordon Institute of Business Science, better known as Gibbs. The South African economy, as we know, is in a bit of a tight spot. We have a low economic growth rate, which is putting the country under a lot of stress. I think we all know and have learned in the last years that economic growth is the oxygen of a transition and the oxygen of a democracy. Unless we can keep funding the transformation process, uh, the country is going to really face major challenges. Any look at infrastructure needs, whether it's water or rail, uh, power supply, which we're currently experiencing great difficulties with, really is a challenge to the economy. Our current growth rate is below the hurdle rate of what I think is a sustainable growth rate, given our political and economic history. So it's vital that we step up the growth rate. It's very hard to tell whether the economy will grow substantially more than it did in 2014 in the next year or so. Of course, we all hope it does, and maybe there's an uptick because we had difficulties in, in the mining industry this year which affected the growth rate. But I think there's a ceiling to the growth rate of about 3%, perhaps, if we're lucky. That's not enough, and we've got to get the growth rate up beyond that if we're going to have a sustainable democracy and a sustainable country. So that's the big challenge, and a lot of this has to do with confidence. Uh, individuals, consumers, companies, investors, foreign investors all have to have confidence about uh, South Africa as a place to invest and, and make a reasonable return. So I think that's the challenge. I think it's going to be a tough year looking ahead. Um, there's no material sudden change that's likely to happen either way. So my expectation is South Africa will grow at more or less the same rate with a bit better in 2015. Of course where that leaves individual companies and industries is very different. Uh, because that's the broader picture. Within that, there are sectors that are going to grow. South Africa is primarily a service economy. It's shifted very rapidly from being a mining-dominated economy, a manufacturing-dominated economy, and now over 60% of our GDP is, in fact, in services. And Santon, where we're sitting, is the centre of that service economy. Coming into the studio today, traffic lights are out of action, people were jumping the lights, and away it was a gridlock. That's not good for a modern economy. So it's critical that the state and business invest in building infrastructure to make sure we have the competitive platform from which this very, very strong private sector can grow and build its business. So the NDP is a plan that's been put together over some years now and it's been in place in government in the corridors of power for some time. People are saying government is committed to the NDP and I've got no reason to think it's not. But we certainly haven't seen, at least in public opinion, the first steps of really putting that together and into action. Of course, it's a broad plan, so it really was a concept that now needs execution. Some or other plan is critically important. We have to have a framework of consensus, including Labour, that we all work, to work towards to make the economy competitive. So I'm hopeful that we'll see more action in the next year on the NDP, or we really will start to question whether this was a paper exercise. Well, we've got two interesting dynamics going on. On the one hand, the Chinese economy has slowed down a little, but remember, it's still growing at a, at a rate which is going to sustain a lot of countries like ours' exports. But it's not growing at the pace it was, so that has some impact. The paradox is the American economy is recovering, and of course the African economy is looking pretty positive. So maybe the one will trade off with the other a bit, and South African companies are investing in Africa on a significant scale, so maybe there'll be a bit of offset. China is an important partner to South Africa, and uh, at least at its current growth rates, many of our exports will continue, although maybe at a slightly reduced rate. South Africa is a, a modern service economy, and to make that work, uh, you need certain fundamentals. It doesn't require a lot of capital investment, but it, less than manufacturing, but what it does require is an infrastructure. So you need to be able to get around a city. You need regular quality electricity. You need a good education system. You need a, all of those fundamentals are a platform from which you can build a service economy. And in that sense, we're lagging. The question for South Africa is how, how to make sure that our cities, because it's mainly our cities, uh, and there are a few key cities, Santon and its environments, Gauteng, are central as hubs of a service economy. We've got the firms and we've got the institutions and we've got the individuals for that. That's got to be a growth, a driver for South Africa.